Good Cycle morning. One complete. All right. Good morning, everyone. Prepare. We're going to let everybody get work. on today. All right. So today on tap, I have our first class, Step Box. Very, very basic, very simple, very easy to follow. So what you're going to want for class is you're going to want your step bench Three, two, and your and risers. So grab Cycle one, two, two or three complete. risers for me, okay? It's going to be a very basic, straightforward, beautiful cardiovascular and heart health workout. Work. All right, you guys, we're going to really push. Each workout is 35 minutes or under. Our second class today is intermediate level rebounding cardio and strength class. So make sure the three, second class is two, 35 minutes start one. to finish. Rest. And it's a rebounder three, cardio complete. strength class. So the second part of class, you're going to want your rebounder and you're going to want the Prepare really light and to medium work. weight. So I'm just getting you ready and prepared for it. Good morning, everyone. Okay. And finally, the third class is going to be renew, refresh, and reset. And that's going to be 30 minutes. And Three, for the third class, two, you're going to want your one, mat and press. you're going to want a foam roller Cycle four, for the third complete. class. And you're going to want your balance pad. So for the very third rejuvenating, Prepare renewal, body, mind, spirit work. class, you're going to want your balance pad. And you're going to want your foam roller. If you don't have the equipment, absolutely not necessary and not needed. Okay, you guys. So are we ready? Let me kind of move this so I can uh, see Three, you guys. Two. All right. Good morning, Victoria. Rest. So five, if for complete. some reason I cut out on you on my internet, for some reason, if I cut out, you're going to go straight Prepare to YouTube and, and you're I'll, I'll say hop on here. So the very first class today, you're going to want it's step box. No hard step combinations. It's just like basics with jabs and then you're stepping up, stepping down, jab, cross, jab, Two, stepping one, up, rest. you know, so I'm going to make it Cycle really six, basic, complete. really simple, but it's going to be <laughs> a lot of fun. I promise you it's going to be a lot of fun. Prepare so I'm so glad everybody work. is here with me today. The first class, 35 minutes. We have eight working tracks. When I say tracks, I mean songs. So it's time to get started. We're going to start with our step bench in one riser. Step box is coming. All right, you guys. Three, two, I'm going to turn one. on Rest. my music Cycles. from the beginning. And I'm going to attempt to get my timer on. And here we go. All right, you guys. Welcome to the step box class. In today's class, you're going to want a step bench with up to three risers today. We have eight working tracks, which means eight songs. Very basic, very simple, very easy to follow. But let's start with the basic right. Here we go. Now, no hard moves, no hard choreography. Let's get that out of the way. 35 minutes, start to finish. You know my name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Yeah, you're going to switch, tap left. Nothing hard. I know a lot of you are like, oh, Angie, step aerobics and kickboxing. I'm so uncoordinated. That's so hard for me. Get that out of your head. Challenge your body to change it. Basic right for four. Track one. Just warming up the body. Yeah? How about a basic left for four? Right here. Looking good. I'm just going to break it down. Basic right for two. Basic left for two. Now, basic left two. Whole foot on the bench. Whole foot off. Basic right. Just getting warmed up. Basic left. You're going to tap right to left. Tap it right to left. Get your hands up. Now, the kickboxing combos are very basic and simple. Right now, all I want to do is get the body warm. We're going to jab it right to left. Ready, go. Now, all my workouts are usually very basic, very simple, and very easy to follow. I break it down. Tons of repetition, my friends. Tons of repetition. 
Can you cross it, cross it, cross it? Just using that step bench really to elevate our heart rate more. As you know, today's workout is a beautiful heart healthy cardiovascular workout. How about a rip, rip right to the groin? Previewing right here, right to the groin. Palm faces up. This is a rip. Oh, get right in their groin. Get low. Get nasty with it. Now let's do the hook right to left. Slide your arm on a bookshelf. Now those, that lower body comes with you. Absolutely grab those egg weights if you want an extra punch. Basic right, basic right. Two more basic rights. So you're just elevating. Now basic left for four, basic left for four. All we're doing, as you can tell, is using the step bench to really rack it up. Basic right two, basic left. Hook two times on each leg. So it's a tap switch. Two more. You are so strong. You are so fit and powerful. Basic left. You're gonna box or shuffle right to left. Hands up. Right here, let's get some lateral side to side movement in. Right here, side to side, looking good. We're gonna speed back center. Let's get those arms nice and warm. I don't care how you box or shuffle. Get the arms up from the side. You're hitting that speed bag. We're already starting to get nice and warm. We're gonna go into a wide squat. It's time, my friends. Oh. Yeah, it's time. Woo, you should be starting to break a sweat. Track one is all about that beautiful warm up. Yeah, let's finish two jabs right, two left. One, two, one, two. So, see how I'm dynamically taking it up? You're ready for those two punches. You're ready, yeah? Now you're gonna cross here. One, two, one, two. Oh, looking good. Breathe it through. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. You're gonna go to the ribs, single, single. So just bend the ribs up. Go to the groin right here. Hey, nice, tight. Come on, get into the groin. This is called the rip. You ready? You're gonna hook it right to left, last set hook. Now, this is not a hook. Look how my lower body comes with me. I slide my arm on that bookshelf right here. Are you ready for basic right to basic left? Yeah. So you're getting the hang of it, right? You're seeing what the step bench is used for. It's just used to add that basic left. Last set. Boxer shuffle, boxer shuffle. Right here. Let's get that lateral in. All right, you're gonna march it. Okay, track two. We're gonna learn this beautiful step combination on this right side. You're gonna march it right, left. Now track two. We're gonna learn a basic step box combination on the right side. Tons of repetition. Are you ready? I know you are. Give me a basic. Hup. Now give me a jab right and left. Four, three, basic right, two times. Whole foot on the bench. Now give me that jab on the floor. We're gonna run through it two more times, two more times. Right here, tons of repetition. You'll get it. All right, basic right for two. Woo, jab. Now we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna do three quick jabs and across. One, two, three, cross, boxer, shuffle. One, two, three, cross, take it back. One, two, three, cross, take it back. Four more. Jab, 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 cross. Take it back. Two more. One more. We're gonna come to the left corner. We're gonna do knees. Knee, tap down. Right here. You're in that left corner, right foot lead. Right here. Now you're gonna stay with the knees while you watch me. Stay with the knees. Three rips. 
Ready? Come with me. Three rips, and it's a half an L. And you're gonna box or shuffle. Three rips. One, two, three. Step. Box or shuffle. Three rips. One, two, three. Step. Knee. You're on that left corner. Let's do it four more times. Rip. One, two, three. And it's a step knee. In this left corner. And then you box or shuffle. Three rips. Hup. Step knee. You're going to box or shuffle. Right to left. Get it up. Right there. Beautiful job. Box or shuffle is a part of step boxing. It's going to get the heart rate up from the top to basic rights. Jabs. Right here. Put it together. Jab. Right and left. Four times. Basic right. Jab. Four on the ground. Go to the right. Three jab. Shuffle. Three jabs and across. Hup. Three more. Jab, 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 cross, shuffle. Two more. One more. You're gonna come to the left corner. Let's rip it. One, two, three. Step knee. And then you get to boxer shuffle. One more time. Rip, rip, rip. Step knee. Boxer shuffle. Speed back center arms. Right here. That's it. Working those arms, working the legs. We're gonna get to go through it one more time. Basic right for two. Four jabs on the ground. And four and three from the top. Here we go. Basic right for two. Jab, here we go. Hup. One more, basic right two, basic right two. You got those jabs, jabs, jabs. Go to the right, three jabs and across. Here we go. One, two, three, cross, take it back. Three more. One, two, three, cross. Two more sets. Hup. One more. We're gonna come to the left corner. Lip, rip, rip, rip. One, two, three. Step knee. Hup. Boxer shuffle. Rip three. One, two, three. Step knee. Boxer shuffle. Boxer shuffle center, speed back. Go. Oh, come on, you're almost done. Come on. Oh, Ooh, work it here, you guys. Now, we're gonna interval until the song's over. Two quick right, two quick left. One, two, one, two. We're done with the combination. Let's interval it. Let's get some boxing in. Now, track three. I'm gonna add a riser, because we're gonna do kicks. Option, add a riser, cross it, two. One, two. Add the riser. If you want, head above the heart. Add a riser. We're going to add risers. We're going to take risers down. Ho. Oh. Okay. March it right to left. Now you're going to notice the music is slowed down. That is divinely on purpose. Track three. We're going to do kicks. You're going to watch me. Crouch. Up. Toes. Come with me. Right here. Woo, so it's a beautiful crouch. We crouch, and we come up on our toes. Beautiful mobility work. Right here again. Crouch, yeah? That's a part of boxing, you guys, and kickboxing. You gotta crouch down to get your opponent. All beautiful boxing using the step bench. Now, we're gonna step, kick, step, back. See why I had a riser? Come with me. Again, step, front kick, step, back. Step, kick, sculpting, toning the lower body. Four more, step, kick. Beats are nice and slow in track three. So we can really control this. Whoo! Yeah? Can you crouch and the toes again? Crouch. Come up on the toes. Crouch. Toes. We're going for eight. Crouch. Toes. Beautiful. You got four more. All right, you guys. Whew, and kickboxing. You got to get on that ground. You got to get that person down. 
Now nice, slow and controlled with the kicks. Are you ready? Oh, front kicks. Step, kick, and back. Major balance, major court. Oh. Again, step, kick. Come on down. It's a front kick. Boom. Lean it back. You got four more. Hoi. Three more. You are strong. You are fit. You are powerful. Challenge your body in order to change your body, my friend. Ooh, left crouch. Crouch. Toes. Left side. Crouch like you're picking. You're getting someone. Hey. And then on those toes. Four more here. And then you know you got that front kick. Let's go. Down. Up. Track three of eight, my friends. Coming down that pipeline. Are you ready? Left foot steps and kick. Step. Kick. Oh, what a balance challenge. Boom. Hey. 122 beats per minute. Slow it down on purpose. Really control it. Four more. Feel the power. Hey. Hey. Two more. You know you get to crouch again. Left lead. Here we go. Down. Toes. Down. Toes. Come on. Get on those toes. Total body conditioning. Revving up our metabolism. My workouts are full of variety. How often do you do this workout? Not often, right? Challenge to change, my friends. You are my teammate. You know you're my partner. You know it. We're in it together. Kick. One, two. Whoa, balance! That's okay if you get a little wobbly. That's why you're here. Challenge to change my beautiful partner. Let's see if we can finish it out. Boom. Come on. Again. Now you're going to crouch right, then you're going to crouch left. Right. Left. One more each side. You're going to take that riser down because we're going to learn everything on that left side. So you don't want to be lopsided. So whatever you had for the right combo, switch it out. Make sure your bricks are on. Give a good kick. Basic left two. Track four. Jab left to right. Now you know this combo, so it's going to come easier. Two basics. Left lead. Yeah, track four. Learning it all on the left. Again, two basics. Jab left to right. Coming down the pipeline. Yeah. Heart healthy workout. Body movement is beautiful. Three jabs. One, two, three, cross. Take it back. One, two, three, cross. Again. One more. From the top, basic for two. Jab four, here we go. Basic two, basic two. Jab four, jab four. Three jab, cross. Take it back. Three more. Two more. One more. You're going to come to that right corner. Three ribs. One, two, three. Step knee. And then you get a boxer shuffle. Rip. Step knee. And then you get a boxer shuffle. Continue. Let's go. Three ribs. Step knee. Yeah? Boxer shuffle. Again. One, two, three. I almost forgot what I was doing. Oh. Speed back center. Just speed back center. Left or right. Right here. Breathe it through. 
want to really work those arms we're going to go from the top i'll put it all together basic left two with the jabs go jab here we go basic left two four jabs whole foot on the bench whole foot off three quick jabs and across four times three more times you guys quick 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 ah uh. two more you know we got the rips one more come to the right corner rips one two three step knee and then you get a beautiful boxer shuffle three rips one more time you get to step knee who boxer shuffle speed back center right here breathe it through very simple basic combo you guys you got it we're gonna go from the top again basic left two four jabs ready go jab left to right you know how you're on that left lead basic left for two Whew. give me that jab three quick jabs and one cross here we go quick 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 cross take it back three more two more last time you're gonna come to the right corner three rips left lead one two three Hup. boxer shuffle three rips boom 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 boxer shuffle speed back center last time come on lateral movement guys get the arms up you got the speed back last time through on this left side this is it are you ready this is it this is it let's see if we can get basic for two left lead this is it jab come on come on this is it guys basic left two whole foot on the bench whole foot off give me the jab you're almost done here three quick jabs and across to the left hey again two more sets two more sets one more set we got the three quick rips left lead left lead one two three Hup. all right add the risers add those risers i'm adding three all right we're back in the kicks we are back in those beautiful kicks all right here we go track five okay i added three risers or also known as bricks so you're gonna step on it you're gonna make sure the brick is on now you're gonna take your right foot remember this is step box always modify go at your pace but this is a tremendously strong cardiovascular workout now watch me step side kick step down step side kick step down now you guys are watching it's chamber kick kicking with the outside of my foot coming in and landing ready here we go one two three and four major balance one two three four nice and slow one two three four Hup. it's a side kick you guys step side kick in and down so you chamber chamber kick chamber down you're kicking with the outside of your foot flexing your foot eight more we're going to switch sides Hup. yeah balance and core right here yeah i'm telling you the mantra this year challenge to change my workouts will do that four more four more step side kick in down control Hup. Huh. move through that wet cement boom hey one more you should be burning who quick break now is this track and track five meant to challenge your balance work your core work your postural muscles and challenge your kicking skills absolutely my friends that's why i'm here let's go let's see what we got Hup. we got 16. now this is my you can tell it's my unbalanced side so you're gonna have one side that it's just easier 
We've got total 16. Step, side, kick, in, out. Hup. Now visualize, you got a person down there. You're going up, kicking with the outside of your heel. Flex your foot. Challenge that balance. One, two, three, four. Chamber, kick, chamber, down. Hup. Four more. Three more. Woo. Yeah, you may falter like me. This is a real workout. My body's doing its own thing. Take a break. That should have been a lot of work on three risers. Now, you're going to watch me. I'm going to step right, back kick, and come back. Step, back kick. Come with me right now for eight. Step, back kick, step, back. Look behind you. One, two, three, four. I'm keeping it slow because we're stepping. Somebody's coming behind you. Now, if you get dizzy, don't look behind you. Look straight ahead, especially as you're coming on this high riser. It's a back kick. It's a step, back kick. One more. We're going to quickly switch. Left foot steps on. Step, back kick. Oh, balance, baby. This is my less non-balanced side. So it's a step left, right back kick, chamber kick, chamber down. Whoa. Yeah, just stepping on the bench is a major balance challenge. Come on. Now you're gonna step right and back kick. Now step left, challenge. Hup. Now step right. Yeah? Work in some coordination patterns. Step left. Wow, four more. Hold foot on the bench. Left. Good job, guys. So this track five was really, really meant to do a major challenge of your balance and your core. Now we are getting ready to go into a Tabata. Now you can step it down, come down, Five, come four, in, three, outside leg, two, go. So, working core. Now, another option, hop it. It's a cardio workout. This is it, track six, mobility. Three, Coming up next, two, one. This is it, guys. Last Cycle working one, track complete. in track six. Track seven, eight, we're on the downloads, mobility. You're gonna step that back leg back, Prepare walk it back, work. and walk it in. You can step it up, step it down, walk it back, walk it in, or box jump. Beautiful. Three, two, Whew. one. Now, Rest. cycle two. We're gonna do one. a ground and pound. We're gonna crouch, pick them up, Prepare. ground and pound. And Get them, pick them up, throw them down, two ground and pounds. Pick up your person, throw them down. Two ground and pounds. I don't care how quick, throw them down and oh, they're trying to get up. Grab them. Say, uh uh, buddy. Oh. Two, one. You're going to do that on the left side. Cycle three. Grab two. a person from their shoulders. Throw them down. They're trying to get up. You're Prepare doing two ground and pounds, and, and you're not going to let work. them. You are timing. So get them. Oh, buddy. Throw them down. Two ground and pounds. Let's go. Step boxing. Grab them. Throw them down. Oh, you're Three, not getting up. Two, okay. One. I have Rest. these big cycle four complete. battle ropes in my hand. I'm gonna battle rope. I'm gonna come over. And I'm gonna battle work. rope, walk, or jump over. Battle rope up and down. You battle rope, boxing conditioning, battle rope, and then you walk or jump over. 
battle rope. You're timing, guys. Three, Tabata. two, Ooh. rest, cycle, five. heart rate Complete. is high on this one. We're going to battle rope here Prepare. over our bench. One and battle rope, one over. Battle rope. You can march, jog, or hop. Battle rope. One battle rope. Come over your bench. We're in the octagon and we're training. This is our conditioning track. Three, two, one. Rest. Yeah? Cycle six complete. Good job. Okay. You have a medicine ball. You're going to pick it Prepare up on the right side and smash. Work. Pick up the medicine ball, smash it center. Pick up your medicine ball, smash it down center. It's a medicine ball or a sandbag. Pick up your sandbag, throw it. Woo. So pick it up. You can pick it up on both sides, and then Three, smash it down. Two, sandbag throw. Rest. Cycle seven. Complete. You are training for step boxing. When you box or kickbox or MMA, you've got to train condition Prepare outside of the gym. Grab the sandbag. Work. Grab the sandbag. Throw it down. Your timing. Pick it up. Throw it. Your timing. And throw. This is it. Pick up the sandbag. Like you mean it. Pick it up. Throw. Pick it up. It's heavy. Two, throw. One. And rest. Tabata complete. Recover All right, you guys. 30 seconds. We're on the down low. Track seven is all about that mobility. Now, when you are doing kickboxing, move, guys, move. You've got to have shoulder, hip, knee, ankle mobility, back mobility. So get that step bench out of the way. Track seven, mobility, focus. Right here, mobility, focus. Let's take it. You're amazing. Mobility focus. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more time. Track seven. Mobility focus. Challenge to change, my friends. Inhale. Come down into a beautiful squat. Left hand up. Mobility focus. Track seven. And down. Right hand lifts. And down. Left hand. And that right hand. One more each side. Hip mobility, shoulder mobility, spinal health, my friends. You're gonna lunge right and left. Right. Left, opposite elbow. Opposite elbow touches the opposite knee. Beautiful mobility. Take it up. Hit a wall if you want. So to pick a leg. Mobility. Right here. Chest tall and proud. Put your hands on your chest. Really gaining beautiful mobility. In through this beautiful hip region. Now, side to side. Now, whenever I go train, my, my son goes to an MMA gym. Whenever you train and you're in an MMA gym, mixed martial arts, we always do this. These stretches after we're warmed up, you're gonna gain greater hip mobility behind. So take it behind. Hand on the hip, hold on to a wall, hold on to whatever, hold on to a chair. Just really getting some beautiful range of motion and through that lower body and through this hip region. We need it for our kicks. Now this is it. Circle in and out. Hold on to a wall if you need to. Knee circles in and out. And reverse. Just reverse. You're gonna love me for this, especially if you do my kickboxing workouts. This is just for beautiful hip mobility health. All right, other leg, your timing. Now, my chest is tall and proud. You can put your fingers on your collarbone. 
to make sure you are not doing this. I want the chest tall and proud. I don't want you leaning forward. My workouts make you feel so good head to toe when you're done. Now outside, it's up to you. Last track, just in, crossing the midline of your body. Whoo, you're gonna feel where you're tight. You're gonna notice where you're, you're tight. And back. So this is just to loosen all in through the hip. Hold on to that chair. But your chest, you're not rounding forward. And circle. Beautiful opening. This is it, guys. Take that chance. Reverse the circle. Hip, internal, external rotation right here. All right. Take the left foot back, fingertips to the ceiling. Now we're going to go into some static stretching. Really focused on hip mobility, spine mobility. Open up. And now that right leg behind. Beautiful workout today. Take it up, right foot behind. Right arm up and over. Beautiful lateral movement. Eye gaze to the ceiling, elbow to the ceiling. Man, your body should feel so powerful and so good. Left foot behind. Lots of work in here today for the upper lower body, for our heart, for our joints. My workouts are comprehensive in nature. I always focus on mobility, balance, core, heart health, bone health. Take it wide, right arm over. Other arm up and over. Take it down, left fingertips up. Right fingertips up. One more time, left fingertips lift. Right fingertips. Come into that beautiful deep mobile squat. Elbows drop out and away. Press the elbows back down and away. Lift that left finger. And lift that right finger to the ceiling. Hands on the ground. Come up one vertebra at a time. Shoulder rolls back. Today's workout was very simple, very basic, very easy to follow. Interlace your fingers, chest expansion. Open up and through your heart. Let the love and light hit your heart and fill your soul with abundance. Finish with breath work. Inhale, Tai Chi. Exhale. Press it out one more time. Fill it in. Tai Chi breathing. And exhale. Fist and palm. Feet hip width apart. Bow. Whew. Great class today. You guys, I burned 261 calories in this 35 minute basic step kickbox class. It was a beautiful, beautiful way to rev up your metabolism and get some heart, bone health, some mobility, coordination, and core work in all in 35 minutes while challenging your body in order to change your body. Body. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I live stream every week. You can always catch me recorded. If you are watching me recorded, always know I time stamp my live workouts. What does that mean, time stamp? I teach three classes. All you got to do is go in the description box below. There's a description box below this video. All you got to do is look at the time the class starts, click the time, and you begin class. So you can avoid all the chitter chatter of class and go straight to the workout.
I do that on every live stream. Okay, so subscribe, share, follow, click the bell and the button. It's been such a pleasure. I want you to know you are beautiful inside and out. Embrace your whole being and embrace you. You have one life. You have one body. Love it. Just love yourself all around. Love and light my friends. Until next time, bye. Hey, okay, we are getting ready for rebounding. I'm telling you, women, if you're getting ready to rebound with me, you better go potty because we are going to be doing some bouncing. <laughs> All I can say is my women need to go potty. Well, if you're like me, I had three kids. I do have a strong pelvic floor, but I still have to go potty always before a good intermediate level rebounding class. So, we have the rebounder. Let's get the rebounder out. Um, you're going to use very light weights in today's class. So, uh, you know me, I like to put my weights on a step stoop. I don't have a step stoop in Wisconsin, but I love to put my weight. So, grab threes, fives, eights, tens. Because you're going to want some, I'm going to do 12s. You're going to want moderate weights today. You're going to want some moderate weights for, you know, some heavier stuff. You're going to want ones, threes, fives, because we're going to use the light hand weights as we're warming up. So I have egg weights. So I'm going to grab right here my egg weights. They're one. Okay, so you guys, I have one pound, I have two pounds, I have three pounds, I have five pounds, and I have 12 pounds. Okay, class starts in one minute. I am going to go potty. I am admitting that I'm going to go potty. All right, you guys, rebounding class. It is rebounding cardio, strength, and core class. So we are getting ready to do that right now. It is 35 minutes start to finish. We're going to always start with the health bounce. So obviously, if you have your deflated ball, grab it. But listen, if you're coming in, you're going to grab your egg weights, your ones, your twos, your threes, your fives, and a heavier, heavier weight. Oh, and you don't have a rebounder. Oh, man. And um, you can always, when I'm doing the exercises, you can have your mat. And if you like to march, or if you like to step touch, or if you like to low jack, or if you like to ski, you're going to, you know, you can do what we do, and you're going to march in place. You're going to just keep it low impact. And I'll show, I'll let you know, hey, if you don't have a rebounder and you're on the ground, uh, do this. Okay, how about that? Okay, here we go. All right, my good friends. Okay, let me turn on. Welcome to this 35 minute rebounder cardio and strength workout. Grab your light hand weights. I have ones, twos, threes, and fives, and I have heavier weights, 12s. We're going to be switching up cardio and rebounding, bone and heart health. Let's start with the health bounce right here my name is angie angie fitness tv i am using a leaps and rebounds bungee rebounder i've had this one five years go in the description box below right now and buy one come on get yourself a rebounder you're gonna love it but as right now you're gonna just start a beautiful health bounce i need to go through foundations shoulders set back down and away from your ear we're pressing down into the mat, all right? We are not rolling forward on our toes, and we're not rolling too far forward back on our heels. We're nice and neutral as we're pressing down into the mat, all right? So the work is in 
the press down of the mat. Now, our tailbone is slightly tucked under and you have a natural core engagement. You're gonna say, Angie, what is in between your legs? It is a small deflated ball. Well, why? It, you're not squeezing it, you're just merely holding it. It helps keep that pelvic floor engaged naturally. It just helps set the pelvic floor in place. Now, if you don't believe me, go in the description box below, buy one of these, I link it, try it, and you can tell. It gives a, you're not squeezing the ball, you guys, we're still in the health bounce for one more minute. You're not squeezing this ball. You're just holding it in between your inner thighs. That's it. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Don't roll onto the outside of your foot. Don't roll on the inside of your foot. Now your weight is evenly distributed between that right and that left leg. You're not this way more. You're not this way more. You're gonna say, Angie, shut up. Why do you keep going through all this? Because, my friends, if you don't have the foundations down, I hear over and over, oh, my calves hurt, my back hurt, I can't do rebounding, this hurt, this hurt, this hurt. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna tell you is, do you know the proper body mechanics alignment and foundation? If you don't, you better start with that first before you do this, right? Why do I always start with the health bounce? I wanna give that lymphatic system, that connective tissue, your myofascial tissue, time to get used to rebounding. I don't ever wanna go hot and heavy into this workout. That's not good for you. Now we can get rid of our ball. Let's start taking it side to side. Now in today's workout, you get to go as fast or as slow as your beautiful body desires. If I'm moving too fast today, well then why don't you slow it down? Modify, go at your pace, listen to your body. All right, that's all you gotta do. We all have different rebounders. Some are spring loaded, some are bungee style. So my bounce, obviously, is not gonna look like your bounce, my friend. So, don't think you have to stay to the beat of the music. You don't have to. The music is here simply to guide us. Go as fast or as slow as you choose. Grab your one pound egg weights right now we're in it now if you don't have egg weights again i explain everything in my description box let's start one minute right here i got something on my rebounder it's gonna bug me one minute we're in it now we have seven working tracks or seven songs right you are in song two of seven track two three two one go hit it you have your one pound egg weights in your hand. Every 30 seconds, I'm switching it out. Again, go as fast or as slow as you want. Jack, every 30 seconds, I'm switching it. Woo! Right here, we're pushing. This is more an intermediate level. Rebounder class, if you've been rebounding with me for quite a while. Don't stop, my friend. Don't stop. Oh. Oh. Breathe it through. Breathe it through. It's every minute on the minute. We're gonna stick with this until he tells us to change. Come on. Beautiful, we're in it. I've given your body time to warm up. Now it's time to push. Pressing down into the mat. One pound. Three, two, one, high go. knees. Right here, you got those egg weights in your hands. Egg weights fit very nicely in your hands. So, if you do a lot of rebounding classes with me, buy the egg weights. That's all I can say, go in the description box below, buy yourself the egg weights. They are pricey, but they are such a beautiful addition to your rebounding workout program. Don't stop. Heels. Don't stop! Let's go team. Let's go partner. You know, believe it or not, I've been teaching rebounding now 25 years. I just came up on my 25 year mark.
started on with urban rebounding in the 90s, guys. At Valley's Total Fitness, teaching it. Three, two, one, Ooh. go. Right here. Now again, I expect you to modify. If you don't like this, do this. This is your workout. It's an intermediate level. So I'm going to push to my intensity. You may also say, Angie, why do you have a knee brace on? Well, in my 20s, I did a gazillion triathlons. Don't stop. Right here, press down into the mat, punch. And on this knee, that I'm wearing the knee brace, press down and punch. I just have chronic knee issues from where I kind of did too much training in my 20s. I was having babies, I was nursing, teaching 20 group fitness classes a week, and doing triathlons on top of it. So my left knee took a beating. So I always Three, wear... Three, two, one, go! Right here. So my... That knee took a beating. So I pamper it now. I do lots of yoga. I do lots of myofascia stretching. Beautiful, guys. Switching it up every 30 seconds with those one pound egg weights in our hands. This is not easy. We are getting breathy. That's what I want. It's an intermediate level Don't stop. rebounding workout. Actually, tuck jump. You're drawing the knees up. Shoulders set back, down, and away from your ears. Rebounding is low impact, joint friendly. Great for the digestive and lymphatic systems. It's a beautiful way to detox your body. Three, two, one, go. Woo. Go back into the heels. Right here. Push, push, push. Give me that little hammer curl. The size of my trampoline I'm using today is a 48 inch leaps and rebounds rebounder. I have a 10% discount. Whew, so if you're going to buy a leaps and rebounds, support my channel and buy one from me. I make no money teaching. Don't stop. Okay, run. Run. This is it. I'm just switching it out. This is not an overcomplicated workout. Simple moves on this mini trampoline. Okay, you guys, the bigger the trampoline space, the better. Do not buy a small trampoline space, it sucks. I've had many. Small space, spring-loaded. Three, two, one, go. And bungee. All right, here we go. You're gonna put your one pounds down. We are gonna go into weights. Grab the heavier weights, remember? I told you to get your heavier weights. I said we're gonna really push. Track three is a weight track. You're gonna take it wide. He's gonna tell us to hit it. I'm challenging your cardiovascular and your muscular system. You're gonna go down, up, down Three, and pick two, them up. Go. go. Right here, here's your weight section. So you're on an unsteady surface. Your knees are tracking in the same direction as your toes. Weights are coming down, lifting, press nice and equal. All right, you guys, I didn't lie when I said this was an intermediate level of rebounding push workout. Again, heart health and a bone health workout. Right here, we're doing weights. Woo! Come on, press. Beautiful lower body work. After this, we're gonna go into a bicep curl. Three, two, one, bicep go. curl. I don't care how quick and I don't care how slow. Feet can be hip width apart. You can do a little bit of a wider stance. Up to you. Right here. Push it, push it. Upper and lower body weights. Right here. You are here to challenge and change your body. One rebounding workout at a time. 
shoulder set back, down, and away from your ears. I have those 12s in my hands. Three, two, okay, one. Okay, you're gonna take the right foot forward. You're gonna do one row and one knee in. One back row, one knee in, yes. Right here, challenging your core, challenging your stability, and working your back. I don't care how quick, and I don't care how slow. You need to figure out what your body is doing for you, balance-wise. Don't stop. Push it here. Beautiful back, beautiful core. Okay, we're gonna do one more. You're gonna switch. Let's see what that feels like. He's gonna tell us. Three, two, go. One, rest. Back, you're not gonna rest. I know what he's doing, but you're not gonna rest. 30 seconds, you're on your other side. Right here. It's a beautiful back row. Woo! Yes, yes, look at me. It's real time, guys. I'm real time. This side is the same way. Three, two, plie. one, power. You're gonna plie down and up. You're gonna grab the weights, and you're gonna come up. Right here, beautiful plie work. We're working the inner thighs. So you're dropping the weights on the trampoline. You're pressing through both heels, nice and equal. Right here, press nice and equal. Knees are tracking out over that second and third toe. Woo! Yeah. Don't stop. Row. Right here. Row. Say bone healthy weight training workout. I'm giving your body quick movement patterns. I'm asking your body to move quickly with those weights, with those cardio exercises. Three, two, Ooh. one, recover. Recover, now put the weight up, grab your two pound hand weights. Now I have one pound egg weights and I have two pound egg weights. So right now, you're grabbing your two pound egg weights. We are getting ready to go into track four of seven. So march, jog, whatever you want. So, track four, I got my two pound egg weights. Again, if you don't have egg weights, buy them. Go in the description box below, buy them. They're pricey, but if rebounding is what you do the majority of the time, buy that small deflated ball and buy your egg weights gonna absolutely be so glad that you did there's many of us that bit the bullet bought the egg weights and we're so glad we did so right now you're jogging you're marching this is just your active recovery Three, two, one. Three. all right right here one punch opposite punch opposite kick major challenge right here Push it here. So it's that right leg and that left arm, guys. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Don't stop. Switch. Left leg, right arm. Right here. Two pound egg weights. Every 30 seconds, I'm switching it out, my friend. We're gonna go to a TikTok after this. Three, two, one, go. You can punch it out. Track four is all about the cardio. Switching it up every 30 seconds. Woo! 
two pounds are packing a major punch. Tick tock. Don't ski. Two pounds. Right here, ski. Press into the mat. Woo. I'm telling you, those two pounds. Huh, it doesn't seem like much. But get them and do this workout. Then tell me they're not much. Challenge to change, my friend. That's all I can say. Switch it out. Get out of the comfort zone. Try something new. Three, two, one, go. Jump. Tuck jump. Shoulders step back. Down and away from your ears. Land nice and equal. Don't stop. Heels. Press it up and out. Palms face away. With those heels. Track four of seven. Challenge to change. Don't just do those little baby rebounder workouts. If you're ready to take it up a notch, get into it and challenge. We're all here together. We're teammates and we're partners Three, in today's two, workout. One, Circle. Press down into the mat. I don't care how quick and I don't care how slow. Stop bending your elbow. Bouncing down, pressing into the mat. Press into the mat. Woo! Two pounds, packing a punch here. Press down, right here. Palms face in. Pressing down into the mat wide, punch, punch. Every 30 seconds, music guiding us. Simple moves, but we're working it, we're challenging, we're changing. Rebounding workouts don't have to be hard moves at all, guys. Not at all. Oh, we're gonna jog. Three, two, one, go. Jog, just a regular jog, or a march. Oh, heart rate's up there. Arms. Whew, they're getting tired, I know. I can feel it. We're going to jump forward and back when he tells us to change. Don't stop. Forward and back. Jump forward and back. You can take the arms up and down. We're going to jump side to side when he tells us. All right. Grab those heavier weights. Grab the heavier weights. Again, grab those heavier weights. We're going to go into that wide squat when he tells us. So just move. This is it, guys. Woo! Track five. Breathe it through, just side to side. You can move it side to side. He's gonna tell us three, two, one. We got 40, about 40 seconds three, to work. Three, two, one, go. go. Come on, really working the glutes and that lower body here. We're coming down the pipeline. This is your last hit, track five of seven. Now we're gonna grab one or two weights and we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension next. So you decide if you want one or two weights when he tells us to switch. He'll say three, two, one, and you decide one or two weights for that overhead tricep extension.
Three, two, one, go. I picked one weight right here. Breathe it through. You're strong, fit, powerful. This is a beautiful intermediate level, low impact, joint friendly, rebounding, cardio and strength circuit style workout. You want to see changes with your body? Get out of your comfort zone and try new and challenging workouts, my friend. Change happens when we get into the uncomfortable zone and we push our body in new ways that it's literally not used to being pushed, right? You're gonna grab the complimentary weight, Three, two, one, the hip width apart, right here. You're gonna just slide it side to side. Working standing core, we're on an unsteady surface. Yes. So right here is a lot of work. Now, your right and left foot, are you pressing nice and equal? Your shoulders are pressing to the back wall. Shoulders are pressing to the back wall. Standing core. Don't stop. Right here, keep going. I want your shoulders to slide on that back wall. Heart center, nice and open. Woo, don't put too much weight on that right leg or too much on that left leg. Really balance it out. I don't care how quick, and I really don't care how slow. Let's just get this going. Now, we're gonna put these weights up. Three, Actually, two, one, rest. you're not gonna rest. You're gonna come down, and you're gonna put the weights on the top of your thighs, and you're gonna begin with the bridge, up and down. Up, hold the weights, up. So you can hold them like this, or uh, it's up to you. Up, down, lift, lower. Now in a minute, we're gonna take the weights, we're gonna press them at chest height, and we're gonna hit Three, some two, back. One, so you're gonna go over your head, and you're gonna press it up to chest height. I'm working that back. You've seen me do this exercise a lot. Beautiful for the back right here. So over, weights are pressing together, come up chest height. Press it up. When he tells us three, two, one, weights come down. When the whistle, push-ups. Turn around, hit the frame, push-up. Go as quick or as slow as you want. Use your own body weight. Beautiful push-up. Press it through. You're almost Three, there. Two, one, recover. All right. You're gonna come up. And you're gonna grab your small deflated ball. You're gonna get things out of the way. I want you to have space. Look at me. I want you to have space where you can come up. So make sure the weights are out of your way. Why don't you take the ball? Let's work on some mobility here while we're on this break. Because we have track six, which is core, but you have your small deflated ball. We're working on shoulder mobility right here. Let's go ahead and reverse that circle. It's a 35 minute workout, start to finish. So I'm gonna work your body. I'm just gonna continue to work it the whole time through. Why do you need a break? You don't. Obviously, if you need one, take it. But if you're with me, it's 35 minutes, guys. We don't need that long standing break. Three, Woo. Two, one, go. Now, right here. Let's go, let's take the ball, take it under your knee, right here. So. Yep, keep going. This is your little extra bonus. Right here, track six. Three, two, Let's one. Let's go. go. Every minute on the minute. Right here, so you're taking it under and over. Now, if your back hurts, don't lean back so much. So if you want, right here. You want more, right here. Let's take that ball under. Woo! Beautiful, work that hand-eye coordination. You know me, 
I love to challenge coordination and balance as well. Come on. Every minute, guys. So you get to go as fast or as slow as you want to go. Beautiful job. Push it through. Three, two, one, rest. All right. You get a quick rest. You're going to watch me. You're going to put the, right, the ball in between your knees. We're going to roll up into a beautiful boat pose. The backs of your thighs do not touch. Three, you're going to roll two, down. One, go. Or you can straighten the legs and you can come down. The backs of the legs do not touch the mini trampoline. Your call, 45 seconds of work. The ball is just in between your legs. Whew. Beautiful job. Now it's your timing, guys. Take that break when you need to. So the ball is in between your knees. Don't let the backs of your legs touch. Three, two, Take one. Take the ball rest. off. Watch me. We're going to work mobility. You're going to come up. You're going to turn. You're going to turn back. And you're going to go down. And then you're going to turn to the other side. Mobility, guys. You have to know how to turn. So come up. Turn. Come back. Lay it down. Then you hit the other side. Come up. Mobility work. Right here. So do we not lay down in bed? Do we not need to know how to turn? And then get back? Yes. This movement helps our movements of everyday living. Right here. If you get dizzy, slow it down. You're gonna grab your ball after this. Three, two, grab one, your ball. Rest. Grab your ball. Okay, put it in between your ankles. Upper body's relaxed. You're just gonna draw circles. You're gonna draw circles. Take your leg Three, two, as far one, down go. as you want. Move through the wet cement. Go nice and slow. Now I want you to reverse the circle. Reverse the circle. Upper body relaxed. Really feel your lower abdominals. Take the work. Drop your legs as low as you can. Maintaining proper form. Your back should not hurt at all. Three, two, one, recover. Woo. All right, grab your ball. I want you to come on up. I want you to place that ball in between your inner thighs. And I just want you to bounce in a beautiful health bounce. We always finish the same way we started. So right now, just take a beautiful deep breath in. Beautiful class today. Beautiful inhale. And exhale. You're gonna get two minutes of a beautiful health bounce. The song is called Grateful. As my days keep rushing by me, health bounce. I seem to forget all the ways that life has guided me. Heart open. And I'm grateful for that. Whenever I'm feeling Face with the unknown I remind myself of all the ways There's joy in every day Keep that health bounce Life is full of wonder I don't have to wait To look around and see The beauty here in this moment Inhale Exhale. I'm grateful for the air in my lungs. 
One more inhale. Exhale. Take the ball away. Grab your frame. Stretch the back side of your body. All I can do is shift my focus and see the good as well. Come on up. Lean to the side. Other side. Gotta hold close and appreciate. Fingers interlaced, chest expansion, heart center open. Life is full of wonder. I don't have to wait. So look around and see the beauty. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Health bounce. I'm grateful for this life. I'm grateful for this life. I want to say thank you for the lessons I have learned. I want to say thank you. Do you breath in? Hold your arms out. I found happiness in my truth. I want to say thank you. Arms down. And enjoy the time Sh I have. Shoulders back. Circle. I'm grateful for the ones I love. Those who lift me up when I am down. I'm grateful for the air in my lungs. The hard times of the last days when I'm Strength, my spirit, my authentic self. Roll it down. I'm grateful for this life. I'm grateful for this life. Hands on your thighs, roll it up. I'm grateful for this Inhale. Life. Exhale, heart center. Woo! I am so, so, so proud of you. It was an intermediate level cardio bounce and weight training class. And we also hit the core. We did coordination and balance. This is very much a challenging workout in order to change your body workout. Again, I was using the leaps and rebounds. Go in the description box below. The small deflated ball and the egg weights are all linked in the description box below. If you rebound with me or, or you're going to make rebounding your predominant form of exercise, buy the egg weights just buck up and buy them yes they're expensive we all know it they're worth it buy them buy the deflated ball and buy this rebounder okay you guys it's been such a pleasure be sure to comment what was the most challenging part of class what do you love about class today and what do you love about rebounding subscribe share follow click the bell i hope to see you in one of my live stream classes and know that my classes are always recorded and they're always time stamped angie what does time stamp mean Go in the description box below on my live stream. You'll see the class. Click the time that class starts and go directly to the workout and bypass all the talking. Until next time, guys. Bye. Okay. We are getting ready to go into our final renew, refresh. This is where you're going to want your uh, balance pad, and this is where you're going to want your foam roller because I am going to do some myofascial release today along um, in the class. It was kind of requested kind of requested by quite a few of you. So get the rebounder and get your egg weights up. And we are going to start. Victoria, coming back tonight for the third class. OK. You, yes, it was a phenomenally fun rebounding. Um, more of an intermediate level because every 30 seconds. They were very basic cardio bounce exercises. But every 30 seconds, we totally uh, switched it out. So that's where the work came in. Every 30 seconds, I'm like, do this. OK, 30 seconds, do this. 30 seconds, do this. So each rebounding workout is all about challenging 
and changing your body in new and different ways. You gotta get out of the comfort zone. So we use those light weights. We use some, you know, moderate weights. So that was good. Are you guys ready to just feel like, oh, so good? Yeah? I know you are. Oh, I gotta grab my mat, don't I? You know what? My mat is in my other room. Let me grab my mat and we are going to start. Okay, get those rebounders put away and grab your mat. I think I'm going to just start adding rebounding uh, to the two, two rebounding classes a week. I think I'm going to start adding that. So we'll have a class on Wednesday, rebounding class on Wednesday. I'm starting to get a lot of uh, people that love, that are doing the rebounding with me. So I gotta make sure I have enough of those classes as well, right? Okay, do you, what, and? Oh, over there, I was like, where is my foam roller? Okay, uh, again, you don't have to have the foam roller. Not required, but ooh, we are going to get some fascia release. So if you don't have a foam roller, you can always just skip that part of the workout. It's always going to be time stamped as well. Okay, let me get my timer. 30 minutes. I love these classes, you guys. I love... Okay. Oh, thank you, Laura. So I'm gonna, get, I think, Laura, I'm gonna start adding them two rebounding classes a week. So I'm gonna add one uh, on Wednesday. I'm starting to get a huge, huge, huge request for the rebounding. Oh, are you ready? This is gonna be fun. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay. Welcome this renew refresh and revitalize workout we are going to work with our breathing mobility flexibility postural health mobility health balance health and we're gonna have a great workout grab your foam roller grab your balance pad absolutely not required but this is a feel-good revitalizing re-energizing and getting back to our center we're going to start with a deep breath in inhale and exhale i just want you to begin to center let it go 30 minutes start to finish beautiful inhale and exhale two more breaths i always love to center with breathing beautiful inhale i'm gonna have elements of yoga in today's class elements of pilates elements of balance elements of mobility and one more deep breath in beautiful inhale and beautiful exhale start rolling those shoulders back just roll those shoulders back you guys it is 30 minutes of your day right here this is a feel good re-energizing revitalizing workout now start to take the elbows feet are hip width apart go as fast or go as slow as you want to go we're just saying hello to our body hello to our joints we may have been on our computer we may have been sitting all day let's make it bigger again your timing your timing guys go as fast or as slow if you find you're sticky in a certain point why don't you just stick with it uh, now we're going to take our fingertips to the ceiling beautiful inhale slight back bend exhale forward fold bend in your knees if you need to just starting to warm up dynamic warm up through the whole body inhale and exhale as you fall forward. Two more. Beautiful inhale. Little back bend. And a beautiful exhale. Just opening up. One more time. Beautiful inhale. 
and a beautiful exhale. Come up to center, step left, step left, and now step right. One more time, step left. Beautiful job here. And now step right. Really starting to warm up, dy dynamically heating up the body. Step the left leg back. Eye gaze to the ceiling and come in. Right foot steps back. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Open up. One more time, left leg. Legs are on a railroad track. Fingertips to the ceiling. Heart center open. Expand through the rib cage. And that right leg back. Right here. Feet hip width apart. Now let's forward fold. Come down a little deeper. And come back into that baby back bend. Again, nice forward fold. You can feel we're dynamically getting warmed up. And that back bend. Now step to the left. Hold. Come in to the right. Right here. Again, left. One more to the right. Take it up. Step back left. Feet hip width apart. So go a little deeper. Heart center open. Breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. We're going a little deeper. We're nice and warm. Now take that right foot back. Legs are in a railroad track. Open. Expand. Feel your heart center. Open up. And come up. Now feet are hip width apart. Just take the right hand over. Right hand over. And now the left hand. Oh, finishing our warm up here. Beautiful job. One more side on the left. Really hitting our lateral movement. And now the right. Take it center. We're gonna step the left foot back, watch me. We're gonna turn and come center. Now the right, right here. We're getting from spinal rotation in, hip mobility. Beautiful, you're gonna be glad, especially if you sit on your computer all day. You're gonna want this movement here. So we turn, and then we come center. Beautiful turn, feel that rotation, feel that spinal mobility right here. One more, you should really feel it open. Okay, fingertips up, let's take it down, down. A little deeper, baby back bend. One more time, a little deeper. And up. Hands up, you're just gonna hold the ball, sway it to the left. And up, this is it, sway that ball to the right. Come to the front edge of your mat. Now, I just got you dynamically warm. The goal, the first two songs, you have 11 songs to work through. I just wanted to warm your body up. Wanted to get the joints open. Wanted to just front side, side, and back of your body get nice and warm. We did that. So now it's time to go a little deeper in these stretches. Come to the front edge of your mat. Deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold. Hold right here. You're gonna step that right foot back. Beautiful. Heart open, eye gaze forward. Going deeper into this stretch with a very basic and simple yoga salutation. Hold it here. It's beautiful for hip opening and heart opening. You're gonna take that left leg, downward facing dog. Nice and slow. Really want you to go deep. Today is about restoring, rejuvenating, and re-energizing. So let's hold this really quick. Let's take that right foot back forward. And let's take your left 
sorry. Have I been talking wrong leg side? I have. So right now I'm, I'm on my right, it's your left. You know, I film live. So you're just following me. So right now we are on that left leg. <laughs> and that left arm is lifting to the ceiling. Beautiful spinal health and mobility right here. Beautiful twist and rotation. Eye gaze to the ceiling, opening it up. Take that right knee down, that right foot down. Left hand up and over. Beautiful, opening up and through the front side of your body. I told you we got warmed up. Now it's time to go deeper. Take the left hand down, take the right hand down, curl the right toe under, downward facing dog. Walk the left foot forward, walk the right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale as you lift your fingertips to the ceiling. And exhale as you come heart center. One more time, other side. Beautiful inhalation, fingertips lift to the ceiling. And exhale, forward fold. Now it's that other leg steps back. So whatever leg step back last time, now you're on your other leg. Heart center, nice and open. You're gonna feel this beautiful lengthening in through your hip. Just breathe it through, lengthen, heart nice and open. Now take that other leg back and come into downward facing dog. Let's come a little bit deeper. Breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. Now you're gonna take that right leg forward right here. And you're gonna lift the right fingertips to the ceiling. As you rotate, you're lengthening through that left leg. Opening up. Now you're gonna take that right hand down, left knee down, the front of the left foot, and then you're gonna take the right hand back. Let's go deeper, stretching the front side of our body. Beautiful. Lengthen. Breathe it through, let the tension and stress leave your body. Take that right foot hand down, left hand down, curl the left toe under. One last downward facing dog. So just let your heels just release to the ground. Let the tension go. Shake your head, yes or no. And go ahead, take that right leg, take it in front. Take the left leg in front, deep breath in and exhale as you come heart center. Grab your balance pad if you have it. Not required, absolutely not required. You're gonna take your right foot. We're getting ready to go into balance. It's very important that we work balance in a rejuvenating and recentering program because balance is a body, mind, and spirit component. So let's just take that left leg forward. Now, if you'd like to know where you can buy this balance pad, simply go in the description box below and I link this balance pad. I'm in physical therapy and we use this balance pad all the time with our patients. Now, if we can, let's lift our fingertips to the ceiling and let's just raise that leg. Each hold is for 60 seconds. So beautiful balance challenge in today's workout. So balancing is truly a body, mind, and spirit component. Now take that left foot down, and let's just lift that right leg, straight leg, as high as you can. Let's just take our thumbs up. Let's hold it here for 30 seconds. One side, it may be easier to balance than that other side. You know, both sides may be difficult. That's okay. That's why you're here. It's okay to get wobbly. Very much okay. Lift your fingertips, palms face in, if you can. Trying to make that balance challenge harder. Expand through the rib cage. Yes, that's okay if you're wobbly. You're meant to be wobbly. You're challenging your balance. This is beautiful also for postural strengthening. We're stabilize we are working tons of stabilizing smaller muscle groups 
that assist our major muscle groups right now. So this is very much a strengthening track as well. Okay, we're gonna take that right foot. I'm giving you breaks. You're gonna take it out to the side. 30 seconds right here. Just hold. I'll make these 30 second holds. Ooh, if you're getting really wobbly, that's beautiful. Thank your body for challenging you right here. We need to work on balance in our workouts. And now simply switch, left foot in the center. Grab that balance. You are in track five or song five of 11 right now. We're finishing up with balance. So we started with breathing and warming up our body. And then we went into a very simple yoga sequence to really make sure our body was super warm. Now we're hitting the balance right here. Take it center and take that left leg back. Hands can just go where you need to to counterbalance. 30 second hold. This balance pad is really, really working tons of stabilizing muscles in through this right foot, ankle, knee, and hip. And you're gonna feel these small muscles shake and that's a good thing. And switch. Get a little bit of physical therapy in through here. <laughs> All right, 30 second holds for our balance, guys. You can do it. Remember, this workout is meant to rejuvenate, recenter, rebalance, and renew your body, mind, and spirit. So this workout, I do focus on the body, I do focus on the mind, and I do focus on the spirit. Both legs in, feet hip width apart, come up on your toes. This is a one minute, 60 second hold. Heels are off right now. Find a gaze, forward gaze, expand through the rib cage, breathe into the deepest part of the lungs, and just be, feel the beautiful balance between that right and left side of your body. Heels do not touch the ground. Lift those heels, lift strengthen in through your ankles strengthen in through the intrinsic extrinsic muscles of your feet i'm here to make you stronger body mind and spirit and take your heels down take that right heel up into the beautiful tree pose hands come to heart center Yes, that's absolutely appropriate if you're getting wobbly. That's why you were doing this track. Try to take your hands heart center. You may not be able to. This is a kind of a really hard pose with our balance pad. <sighs> Ooh, and switch. Yeah, so you're seeing me wobble and I am pretty fit. So I'm not gonna, yep. So if I'm here and I can't get it on my balance pad, that's okay. I'm just gonna come here. So the balance pad just quadruples the challenge. Anybody who has a balance pad on here, comment after class. Let me know what you thought. So you don't have to have that balance pad, but you really wanna challenge that balance, work on stabilizing muscles for strength, that's it and release. All right, you guys, grab your, um, we're gonna go into hip opening right now. So grab your foam roller, okay? Grab that foam roller. You're gonna pick a leg. So I'm gonna just come to the side and I'm just gonna pick this outside leg. So our feet are on a railroad track. We are into hip and heart opening right now. You're gonna step that back leg back and we're just gonna hold. Let's lean forward right here. Now you don't have to have this foam roller, but it's gonna allow us to go deeper into that upper and that lower body stretch. 
and then come up. Again, bend in the knee, lengthen forward, and let your head hang. Beautiful hip mobility right here. And one more time for me. Really come forward, lengthen, open, where you're tight. I really need you to breathe. I need you to let that tension go. You're gonna come up, you're gonna drop the back knee, you're gonna drop the back foot. You're gonna take that back arm forward. And you're gonna just take your front hand on your thigh. So that back arm is reaching forward. We're going really deep in that back hip. Come up, release, inhale to prepare. Exhale, drop that back arm. And your front hand is on your front thigh. We got one more, three tries. Inhale, and exhale. Beautiful hip opening trap. And come up, take knee underneath. I want you to take that foam roller. I'll just come here. Heart opening. Eye gaze to the ceiling. You can put a soft bend in your elbow. We're opening in through the front side of our body. Just to open, heart center. Expand through the rib cage. Open, feel the love, light. And come down. Now, we're going to do the other leg. So I'm just gonna switch to this side. So we're doing the other side now. You're gonna put both hands on and inhale and exhale. Just breathe it through. We're going deep. We're working the other hip, major mobility, and we're lengthening through the back and the upper body. Come in two more times. Beautiful inhale, press it in. Exhales, both hands press away. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Just let your head release. Let everything release and open up. And come in, we have one more time, one more time. Inhale to prepare. And exhale. Right here. All right, so front hand is on the front thigh. We're gonna go deeper with the back hand. Beautiful inhale and exhale. Just our back hand. It's al gonna allow us to open up. Oh, you can go so deep with these stretches, guys. So deep. Take it in. Inhale to prepare. Come on, we need to go deep. Hip opening, so good for us. Exhale, you can just it's a back hand and the back leg is just coming forward. Oh, beautiful, deep, deep stretch. My classes really change your body on a body, mind, spirit level. One more time, inhale. Exhale, release, let it go. We carry a lot of physical tension in through our hips, our shoulders, our neck. Let it go, breathe it through. Feel the lengthening and the opening your body has to give you. And come up. Heart center opening. Just take it, soft bend in your elbow. And open like you have a beautiful pendant. Elbows are pointing to the back of the room right now. Put a bend in the elbow. Elbows pointing to the back of the room. Heart center opening. A lot of times we're closed off to the world. And when we can just open it heart center, it just really helps that beautiful, uplifting energy come into our body, mind, and spirit. And release. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of rolling in. You guys are going to love me. Fascia release. So pick a butt cheek right now. Pick a butt cheek. We have eight minutes left. Ooh, my classes really, really, really are basic and simple, but they really 
open up your body on an extremely huge level. <laughs> Woo, you know I'm a licensed massage therapist, group fitness, personal trainer, Pilates yoga, and physical therapy. Functional movement. Now let's just roll our other butt cheek. This is going to be a workout you put in your saved playlist and you come back to after a long day of sitting at work or after a really hard workout you just need to open up okay let's stretch let's do those hamstrings we're gonna finish just who doesn't love to just open up in through their fascia fascia is a connective tissue and it gets tight and when it gets tight it can really <laughs> keep those muscles tight so right here beautiful job we're just opening up all these muscles <sighs> I'm telling you you're gonna feel like a million bucks after this okay and we're gonna go to the calves however you like to roll some of us need to just do one side at a time just like this absolutely fine and some of us can put both legs on there at the same time and just toes can rotate in toes point to the ceiling and your big toe can point to the back of the room you're just rolling that calf in all different directions to keep it nice and supple and switch if you're doing what I'm doing I have I tend to have tight calves so I cannot roll both legs on at one time wherever you're tight this foam roller breaks up the fascia it helps increase blood flow into the areas that are really really tight fascia is a special type of connective tissue fascia is its own ecosystem it's very very fascinating fascia we have it through our entire body Okay, you're gonna roll around we're gonna hit our quads and we're gonna move on to some spine health really quick right here rolling the front of the legs in your own timing roll you go where you need to go you know your body you feel it all right guys let's put that foam roller off to the side just take that right foot over the left and let's look over the left shoulder Let's get a little more postural health twists and rotations in. Sit up tall. And now, your left foot. Look over your right shoulder. One more. Take your right foot to your left knee right hand up and over and down left foot to the right knee beautiful inhale exhale as you lift It's time to just work on mind renewal. Lay down, palms up, melt into your mat, eyes are closed. Breathe into the deepest part of the lungs and melt into the mat as you inhale through your nose. 
and exhale through your mouth. Take these next couple of minutes just to connect with your body, mind, and spirit. Let go, release, and renew. Feel your heart center full of light and love as you breathe. to wiggle your toes and your arms head side to side feel the peace and the joy the balancing and the rejuvenation your body is feeling in this very moment take that feeling with you let it be with you all day. Roll over to your side nice and gently. Knowing you can always come back to this workout when you need to recenter, rejuvenate, rebalance and re-energize your body, mind, and spirit. Slowly begin to open your eyes and with your top hand, kick, stand, and press up with your top hand. Come sit Indian style for me. Sit up nice and tall. Feel the beautiful balanced energy your body has. And let's just reach over to the left side of our body. And then now the each side of our body, just reaching nice and slow.
deep breath in as you lift your hands up to the ceiling. Heart center open. Exhale as you pull your hands to heart center. Feel the peace of the body, mind, and spirit connected in one and balanced. One more beautiful inhale. Exhale as you come heart center. One last thing, hands on your knees, right ear, right shoulder. Who doesn't love a good neck stretch? Left ear, left shoulder. One more time, right ear, right shoulder. And left ear, left shoulder. Hands at heart center. Namaste. let it go. <laughs> My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Be sure to go in the description box below and try one of my other body, mind, and spirit classes. They always have components of breathing, mobility, yoga, Pilates, hip health, spine health, and body mind renewal reset until next time subscribe share and follow it's been a pleasure being with you on this body mind and spirit exploration today goodbye everyone all right guys let me turn off the music let me get this music turned off and we'll talk real quick if I can get it turned off. I don't know how to get it turned off. There we go. Okay, you guys. Really, really, really nice class today. We had three classes on tap. Step box, uh, weights with our rebounder and cardio, and a beautiful body, mind, spirit, renewal, reset. So um, it was a beautiful class. I'm going to have class on Wednesday. Each class, guys, is 35 minutes or under. I always have cardio. Always, I always, in each live stream, have components of cardio, components of strength, and components of body, mind, and spirit. You know my background is physical therapy, group fitness, personal training, Pilates, yoga, functional movement, and I am a guided meditation uh, facilitator. I do, uh, I do neuro-linguistic programming with a little bit of hypnotherapy, so I have a really vast background in the body, mind, and spirit realm. And I bring all components into each and every workout that I bring to you guys. So I know my workouts are totally different and just dynamic in nature compared to other instructors. So um, that's what you really get when you come to my workouts. They really have components of body, mind, and spirit because we're all 360 degrees. We are connected. And I am in the realm of all three body, mind, and spirit. So uh, yeah. Oh, Betta loves a down, down dog. Your little dog was doing, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Bella is right here. So, um, Roland, well, normally I don't like yoga, but this one I love it. Thanks. You are so welcome. Um, yes, and I do basic yoga. Um, I am not, hey, thanks, Laura. Hey, I'm going to add more, you guys. If you don't have a foam roller, buy yourself a foam roller. Because in each of these 30-minute classes, I'm going to start adding components of myofascia release. That is my massage therapy background. Uh, believe it or not, you guys don't know, but one of my specialties, and I still do it on my friends and family, um, is a seven-step myofascia release. I had, when I was doing massage therapy, I had clients. I turned so many away because the myofascial release really works. So buy yourself a foam roller. If you're going to stick with me and you're going to do these body, mind, and spirit classes, 
because we are also going to start releasing um, our fascia and I'm going to have segments like at least one song at least one song will always have a component of this foam roller also uh, this balance pad obviously you don't have to buy any of it and you can still stretch and do it this is uh, physical therapy I this is my beauty I took this everywhere with me when I was doing home health physical therapy we really love to work balance in physical therapy it's a huge component to everyday living so um, I'm gonna make sure I link these two and if you stick with my workouts or if you really want to change your body body mind and spirit uh, these these right here are a good addition to your home gym okay I only tell you what to buy that I buy and that we use. So everything you're seeing in class is everything I use, everything I recommend, and everything I've been doing for years. Okay? So there's going to be class on Wednesday at uh, 1030. So I'm going to ask right now ideas or suggestions. Um, I got like 30 people on, so Wednesday, what are you wanting to see? What, my friends, are you wanting to see? Let's, let's spit it out there. Uh, next week, by the way, just a hey, JD of love. So next week, I'm going to have class on Friday. So you guys are going to get me this Wednesday, and then you'll see me um, the following Friday. So do I have any up? Oh, okay, better. I'm writing this down. Upper body push-pull. Thank you. Great. I'm writing it down, my friends. Upper body push-pull. I do love that. Upper body. And you could do that rebounding too, better. We can do it, you know. Upper body push-pull. Yes, you got it. That's a good one. We haven't done that in a while. Upper body push-pull. You got it. I got to add that with some cardio or got to add it with something. Okay, do I have any other takers of what you would like for Wednesday? Total core includes sideline. Okay, that is easy enough to do. Total core is, as you know, better. Well, because you did the, you did body pump, you know, total core. Well, I know you know this is your glutes and it's your hamstrings and it's your low back. So we got to do bridges. We got to do sides. So believe it or not, to have a really strong core, you, we need to be doing squats. We need to be doing back. We need to be working the posterior chain because think about it. Your core is 360 degrees. High step for lower body strength. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. High step for lower body strength. Now, that that's a doozy. Yeah. All you got to do is add your risers, and we could add that. Yeah, I do. I like that, JD of Love. That's a good one. You guys are all f always full of really, really good ideas. Um, or also, guys, it just doesn't have to be um, if you, in the body, mind, spirit class, oh, more fascia release, please. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. I'll do the, I'll make sure I do that in the third track, uh, but we're going to do it with the foam roller because the foam roller is just a really cheap piece of equipment to allow for fascia release. Upper body, oh, gr girls, I can, I can release fascia uh, except over your organs. You, you never want to roll over your organs. So top of your hip, bottom of your rib cage, you don't have a lot of bone structure, so you don't roll through that. So that's about it. Okay, I can do that for all, y all of you guys. All right, so I'm going to head out. I'm going to get all these videos edited. Remember, if you're watching, go. I always, right after class, isometrics. Yeah, th I could do that better. Better likes isometrics. Isometric holds. Those are, they're really good, though. Oh, my gosh, and I need to do one of the ones that I really got a lot of views on was Pilates on the wall. <laughs> You know, when I did uh, Pilates on the wall, people just loved it. So 
I got to hit another Pilates on the wall. Okay, you guys, it has been a beautiful day. So whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, you're getting ready to go to bed or whatever, it's such a pleasure to be with you today. We had such a fun day. I hope I see you on Wednesday at 1030. If not, know all my workouts are recorded. Go in the description box. They're time stamped. Pick the class you want and just take the class that you want. Okay, so it's been a pure pleasure and I will see you guys on Wednesday and um, have a beautiful day, everyone. Okay, bye.